Hi, my name is uh, Ashok Koel and I would be an instructor for uh, this uh, program on uh, Certified Information Security Manager. This uh, certification is uh, issued by ISACA and uh, one of the most popular uh, for uh, those uh, professionals who want to orient their career in uh, information security management. Now, as we understand that uh, in the last 20 years, information security has come up an area of expertise in itself. The need for, uh, uh, you know, uh, protecting the information, the need for the uh, uh, protecting the vital information that is generated in the uh, while doing business in an organization is uh, uh, is increasing uh, with passage of time. You can take example of banks. You can take example of let's say supply chain management organizations or manufacturing organizations. They thrive on the information which is being generated or have on an everyday basis. Right? You can look at. Uh, uh, you know, many financial institutions like insurance organizations or stock trading organizations or even consulting uh, companies. All they are do is make sure that uh, their information is of good quality, it is searchable, it could be accessed by people who are authorized and it is protected from anyone who is not supposed to access that information, right? So let's understand how this uh, entire uh, uh, you know, domain of security management, information security management has been uh, put in the form of a framework by uh, ISACA. Information can be understood as, uh, you know, a lot of data, meaningful data, which can be uh, used for uh, conducting your business. And uh, it's vital for the organization to make sure the uh, uh, the data is uh, kept in a the relevant form. It is kept uh, in, in a way so that it can be accessed by the right people. And it is protected from uh, anyone who is not supposed to access the data. It's a confidential data for my business, right? All these large organizations like Google, Microsoft, and or eBay, or many others, they all are thriving on the right data, right? Uh, that information has to be protected at any cost. It, it's vital for your business. So let's understand that how this uh, protection of information has been uh, uh, changing over a period of last, let's say, 15, 20 years. Now we understand that uh, our information, lots and lots of information is protected. It's stored on uh, hard drives, on uh, hard disk, right? It could be an external hard disk. It could be, uh, you know, inside the servers, the hard disk inside the servers. And uh, our dependence on the information is not going to come down in the near future. It has to increase even more, right? The vital information would be required in almost all aspects of human lives or rather all aspects of the businesses. Uh, in, in another uh, point which is mentioned in the, uh, the slide is it is going to be become a resource. Like information is money. Information is as important a resource as the probably, uh, you know, in a traditional sense, how we used to look at capital and land and labor, right? So at any cost, uh, information would play a vital role. It uh, already has started playing a role and in the near future, it would be even more important. Organizations, research organizations like Gartner and Forrester and uh, benchmarking aliens, they have, uh, you know, predicted that uh, organizations will deal with a lot more information because what we are uh, facing is uh, with the passage of time, every year we are inventing, uh, you know, uh, various kinds of hardwares which can process the information much faster and they can store lots and lots of information at a much cheaper price, right? So maybe in the next decade or, or even let's say uh, 20 years time, we would, uh, organizations would have to handle a lot more information, maybe 20 times, 40 times and so on, right? So information protection becomes all the more important. Right. Now the question comes, how do you protect our resources with regard to the information? Various information resources. 
So one could be arrive at a critical governance function. Make sure there is a right from the top to the bottom is the right emphasis on uh, security as a principle. Information security as a kind of uh, a well understood and well uh, appreciated area of concern for conducting the business. And having a robust governance plays an important role in uh, uh, maintaining uh, an information security, uh, in keeping your information secure in, in the corporate. Another point that we need to appreciate is uh, typically, so far, we have been uh, investing our energy in protecting the IT systems that store the information. We, for example, if the information is in there in the server, we are working on uh, ensuring that the server is protected. The, the hard disk is protected, which is storing the information, right? Or if we are having the information in large volume storages, we are protecting those hardwares. However, there is a, uh, you know, uh, an awareness or there's an emphasis over uh, in last 10 years that I've seen people are realizing that instead of uh, saving or instead of protecting your uh, hardware, why not uh, protect the information itself? Not only when it is there in the hardware, when it is uh, in, the, in, the, in different phases, when, where it is being generated, where it travels from one location to another location, and where it is stored, how it is being accessed, and on every aspect of managing the information. So that is where, uh, uh, you know, the focus is slowly shifting over a period of time. And, uh, and that is also where we have started seeing various new kinds of risk, which probably we have not noticed earlier, right? Uh, many uh, new risks are uh, kind of uh, coming up, are surfacing, because now the information has to be protected at various stages of uh, being utilized or various stages of handling the information. Uh, this uh, actually does not need to emphasize anymore. It's well understood that responsibility of security uh, management and security governance has to come from the top management, right? Uh, otherwise, the right kind of uh, culture, right kind of environment will not get uh, uh, percolated in, in, in the organization. People will not take it uh, with the right kind of commitment if it is not flowing from the top. So responsibility for the information security management and governments has to flow from the senior most management in the organization, which is probably the board of directors or the executive management of the organization. Uh, because it should be understood as an integral part of doing the business. For example, if you take a bank, uh, managing the information is vital for doing the banking business, right? And uh, the, the right focus has to flow from the, from the board of directors of the organization, of the bank. Yeah. So, as we understood, information is simply a data with a purpose, a, a useful data which is required for conducting the business, right? Now, uh, let's understand uh, how the knowledge has become a reason. Knowledge has become a, a leveraging factor for uh, uh, inculcating growth and productivity in the organization, right? Uh, knowledge is being considered as an asset. Uh, knowledge is being considered as as something that you can make money upon right, over a period of time. And uh, this increases even more the need for protecting that uh, information or that knowledge. And uh, uh, what we are arriving at is if we maintain an environment of good information security governance, governance would be a set of rules, set of regulations or a framework which could be appreciated by almost all uh, teams within organization, all the people, and uh, certain standard principles could be followed and practiced across. Now, if we manage a great uh, governance of uh, uh, information security, 
we could, we would surely uh, reap so many benefits, right? There would be the right organization culture. So uh, then the information security governance would not be confined to certain uh, senior leaders or, or to managers, but it would become the responsibility of almost everybody in the organization. People will start developing an appreciation and slowly it will become a part of the culture in the organization, right? It would take care of, of course, the legal liability. Uh, there would be a compliance policy on how good governance could be ensured in the organization. How do we ensure uh, that uh, you minimize the uncertainties in the business operation, right? Any business would have some risk to be handled, some uncertainty, right? Now, if you have a good, uh, well-established, well-accepted uh, information security governance, it becomes all the more easy to conduct business. You, uh, you would be able to allocate the right kind of people, right skills for managing the information security, right? Your ability to control the environment, the information security environment would be far superior. People would develop trust amongst each other, whether it's the employees or the vendors or the customers, there would be an environment of trust and they would like to do business. They would like to conduct business with that kind of organization. And of course, take care of the organization's reputation. A good information security governance would go uh, quite far. It would uh, not only handle the organization's reputation, it would help the organization to grow faster. And we would arrive at uh, many outcomes. Uh, yeah, I mean, the result of good governance could be manifold. It would give you uh, a great assurance function. Assurance is more of a, uh, you know, it's kind of uh, unknown guarantee. It's assurance is more of a function that yes, the status quo would continue and it would provide a certain direction to the organization in handling security as a, as a principle, right? Needless to say that uh, the objective of a good information security governance is to develop and implement uh, a system which is, uh, which is able to give certain kind of guidance to the business operations and uh, it, it aligns the organization culture and the need for a certain kind of technology and structure in a certain way, in a way so that uh, it becomes easier for the organization to conduct the business, right? And it, it uh, gels very well with the organization strategy. So we would end our video here uh, and we just wanted to keep it confined and short. Thank you very much.